video we're going to look at how to substitute into algebraic expressions. So we've got five different expressions here. 3a, remember 3a means 3 times a. a plus 3, well that's a and then add on 3. a subtract 3, a divided by 3, and a squared. So let's let a equal 6. And let's work out what these five expressions will equal if a is equal to 6. So 3 times a, well because a is 6, that's going to be 3 times 6. Of three sixes is equal to 18. Next, a plus 3. Well, that's going to be 6 plus 3 because a is equal to 6, and 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Next, a take away 3. Well, a is equal to 6, so we've got 6 take away 3, and 6 take away 3 is equal to 3. Next one, a divided by 3, or a over 3. Well, that's 6 over 3, and 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And finally, a squared. Well, a is equal to 6, so that's 6 squared, and 6 times 6 is equal to 36. So that's how you substitute into expressions. Now let's have a look at three typical exam type questions. So it says, work out the value of the expression 5x plus y if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. So we're going to do 5 times whatever x is, and then add on whatever y is. So we're going to do 5 times x, which is 4. Then we're going to add on what y is. Well, we're going to add on 3. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Add 3. And 20 add 3 is equal to 23. Let's have a look at another type of question. Now, they love putting negative numbers into these types of questions. So mixing up the algebra and also having you to use some of your negative number skills. So if you need to, watch the videos on negative numbers on corporatemaths.com. So it says, work out the value of the expression 6a plus 2c if a is equal to 5 and c is equal to negative 8. So we're going to do 6 times a, and we're going to add that to whatever 2 times c is. So 6 times 5, and then we're going to add 2 times minus 8. Let's do the multiplication first. Remember, bod mass, we times before we add. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30, and we're going to add... And 2 times minus 8, well, 2 times 8 is 16, so 2 times minus 8 is minus 16. Now, here we've got a plus and a negative directly beside each other, a plus and a minus and directly beside each other. Well, that's the same. If you add a negative, it's the same as subtracting. So we've got 30 take away 16, and 30 take away 16 is equal to 14. And our last exam question. It says, work out the value of the expression 2 bracket a plus c, close brackets, all divided by 4 and a is equal to 10, and c is equal to minus 2. So let's substitute these two values into the expression. So we've got 2 bracket, and instead of a, let's write our 10, and then plus, and then instead of c, write our minus 2. Close brackets, all divided by 4. Again, we've got a plus and a minus directly beside each other. So whenever you add a negative, it's a takeaway. So let's work out what that would be. That would be 2 bracket, and then 10 takeaway 2. 10 takeaway 2 is 8, divided by 4. Then, because we've got the 2 outside the brackets, we're going to multiply what's in the bracket by what's outside. So 2 times 8 is equal to 16 divided by 4. And then finally, we do our division last. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. And that's it. So that's how you substitute into expressions.